Rated M for Mature. I'm Craig Morrison and I'm the game director and producer on Age of Conan. What you're going to see today is a quick tour of the new gameplay area that's opening up in Update 105, and that is Tarantia Commons. Tarantia Commons is kind of the urban underbelly of King Conan's capital city of Tarantia. It's where the common person lives. It's racked by gang warfare and civil unrest. Everything you'd expect to find in a medieval urban environment where the people have to fight out on a daily basis for their existence. Players will actually be able to choose which side in these conflicts they take part in. What you see here is a riot that's beginning to form. There is civil unrest in this area, and players will be able to make a dynamic choice in the zone, whether they take the side of the rioters or the city guards. There are a series of quests that players can take part in that allow them to choose this side. They can even go as far as knocking on doors to rustle up more people to join the riots, or they can join the guards in trying to quell the riots. And different players can take, make different choices. They can take a different side, so you may be working for or against your fellow players as you decide which course the riot will take. The results of this means that the experience is different every time. Whenever you set foot in Tarantia Commons, there may be a different outcome to this riot. Gameplay-wise, these riots also spawn different events based on how they're going. Different bosses might spawn or different quests might become available based on the reactions to the riot. There are also two warring factions within the city itself. These are two street gangs called the Wharf Rats and the Crows. Players will be able to take quests for either or both sides and try and work their way up the rankings of these uh, gangs and explore the different storylines of the conflict. The Wharf Rats are based on the ground level, on the wharf of the city, the area that you're looking at now. They're all clearly identified and players will be able to choose for them. If they go with the crows, they're actually going to see a different gameplay element in that a lot of the gameplay in Tarantia Commons is actually based on the rooftops. When you design an urban area in an MMO, a lot of the real estate doesn't get used because it's usually at the street level and the buildings are up above the player and inaccessible. What we wanted to do with Tarantia Commons is make the rooftops part of the gameplay experience. So many of the quests will take you up onto this majestic view above Tarantia Commons where you can take part in quests, either for or against the crows, whether you're working for or against the rats themselves. So players will be able to explore the rooftops and enjoy these views and be able to play out some very dynamic gameplay in these environments. It's, I think the team have done a really great job in adding a different element to the game with the rooftops. Tarantia Commons doesn't end there either. Once you go out past the city walls, you actually end up into effectively what are called, you know, an outskirts of the city. But they're not the kind of suburbia that you might see in a modern city. They're a very dark and foreboding place where there's more factions and more quests for the players to take part in. What you're seeing now is actually a leper colony. Here a plague has inflicted the people and it's very different gameplay here. There are plague markings on the door and the people are all obviously affected by some kind of malaise. And what you can see is that the NPCs react to the player's presence. They will try and come towards the player in an almost zombie-like fashion. And the player can actually pick up this disease if they're not careful and may have to do quests to try and clear themselves from the disease. And as you can see here, the locals will be all too willing to try and follow you and make sure that you get this disease. So it's a place you have to very carefully tread in. Transha Commons expands far beyond that as well, and next we move towards the other end of the playfield, where you have a large graveyard. And again, there's a, a evil. There's a storyline here about an evil that is uh, growing in the city, and a, a character that the players will have to interact with or combat, and move through a series of quests in the graveyard in another uh, a quite a spooky environment. So it's very different from the urban landscape inside the city walls, all within the same playfield. The team have made a lot of effort to try and make the experience in Tarantia Common very varied with a lot of different type of dynamic quests for the players to take part in. Finally for today, a bit of a spoiler warning first. We wanted to show you one of the dynamic elements in the gameplay of a boss encounter that appears later in the Tarantia Commons experience. This is the Crow's Nest and you're fighting a boss called Jovis in a single team level 80 instance. Now Jovis is an assassin 
and here you can see him taking the fight to the players and he's fighting much like a normal NPC would but Jovis has a trick or two up his sleeve and this is an example of how the gameplay designers have tried to use the tools that we have in an imaginative way to make the players remember this encounter. He's going to show you a special trick in a minute that uh, will challenge players in how they react to it. He runs to the fire and uses a strange dust in the fire that makes these gas clouds appear and envelop the room. Now what the players must do is grab fireside fans and try and waft the smoke out of the area so that they can continue. You see there someone actually failed to do it so well and got killed by the poison. So other members of the team have to quickly react, grab the fireside fans and try and get rid of the gas. It keeps the players on their toes and makes the encounter a little bit more memorable than just dealing with the boss. Using the environment like this, we're able to make the gameplay experience that little bit more exciting and varied. So players have to come up with the right tactics of how they're going to get rid of this gas and still handle the boss at the same time. I think the players will have a lot of fun trying to figure this one out and see what the best tactics there are and how they handle this boss. So there you have some insight into what makes Tarantia Commons fun and exciting for the players. I hope you'll all get to experience it when you come and check out the new game update for Age of Conan. Thank you for watching.